What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are continuing our Series 2 content, but this time using the Iron Tread team for the Master Tier. You guys are in a good deal if you do enjoy the content anytime. Make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, we are close to pushing 20,000 subscribers. So again, if you guys aren't subscribed, help me reach that milestone. It really does go a long way. But before we get started here with today's team preview, you guys are in a deal that I have to give a huge shout out to the team creator. Pokesports, thank you so much for making a video on this Iron Tread team. I will be leaving the link down in the description below to the video and to their channel. Definitely go check them out. And I will actually leave the Pokepaste over on their page, just so you guys are forced to actually go over there and check them out. So if you guys want to see the Pokepaste, head over to their channel in the link in the description below. Find this video with Iron Treads, and there's the Pokepaste for you guys. But yeah, this is my first time using Iron Treads, and it seems really, really strong. It seems pretty decent, at least, with uh, Steel and the Ground type. I think we're going to have some fun with it, and I think we're going to grab some wins with it. But Iron Treads is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview in the top left hand corner. It's got Cork Drive, it's got the Booster Energy, then rocking a great move set of Iron Head, Earthquake, Protect, and Terror Blast, which will turn into Flying Terror, considering that is Iron Treads Terror type. Second Pokemon is going to be my main man, Pots and Pans, over here. We got Pelipper, or as I like to call him, Paloops. Paloops has Drizzle and a Damp Rock as item. Hurricane, Hydra Pump, Tailwind, and Wide Guard. Very good Pokemon for the rank ladder. Cannot go wrong with Pelipper. Third Pokemon is going to be Palafin. Palafin's going to pair well with Pelipper because it can boost its water damage. It's got Zero to Hero, Mystic Water as its item, then rocking a great move set of Wave Crash, Jet Punch, Haze, and Flip Thern. Amoongus is going to be a fourth Pokemon. Amoongus is great on the support side. You guys have been seeing Amoongus for quite some time now, ever since Sword and Shield. It was really relevant in Sword and Shield, and now it's still relevant in Scarlet and Violet. It has Regenerator, the Rocky Helmet as its item, Rage Powder, Clear Smog, Spore, and Foul Play for its moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be King Gambit. Can't go wrong with King Gambit on any team. Just such a good physical attacker with a decent bulk on it as well. It's got Defiant, a Soul Fast as item, Cowtow Cleave, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, and Low Kick for a coverage move. Final Pokemon is going to be Salamence. Salamence is actually really good when it's paired up with Pelipper. And the reason being is because Pelipper can set the rain and Salamence can learn Hurricane. So Hurricane hits 100% of the time in rain. Salamence has Stab Hurricane, can do some crazy damage with that. Intimidate, Life Orb as item and ability. Hurricane, like we already mentioned. Then we got Draco Meteor, Tailwind for Speed Control, and Protect for Salamence's final move. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Month code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Iron Treads team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a pretty stacked team. They got Grimmsnarl, who I haven't been seeing too much in Series 2, but they also have Iron Hands, Fluttermane, Iron Bundle, and then Arcanine and Corbin. So again, very strong team. Hopefully we can get started here with a win, but it's going to be a tough one if we do grab ourselves a win. But I think Pelipper is going to be a solid lead. This little special attacker, set the rain. We can Hurricane, we can do a good bit. Iron Hands is probably going to come out here, a fake out user, or maybe even Arcanine. So who do I go into? Do I go into Defiant King Gambit? I could do that, or I can just keep going with like special attackers. With Salamence, I could go Pelper Salamence, which I kind of really like. But a problem here would be that Deli Deli Bird. Deli Deli Bird could be a problem. I already see that being a problem, but I don't mind protecting Salamence, setting up Tailwind, and then kind of just doubling down into it. So I'm going to go into Iron Treads. And last but not least, I think Gambit's going to be our best bet, right? Is Gambit going to be your best bet? Yeah, I like Gambit. I really do like Gambit here. They got the Fluttermane. They got the Grimmsnarl. Arcanine, obviously a problem, but we got a few Pokemon to kind of counter up onto it. So hopefully we get rolling here in match number one and grab ourselves victory to get this video started. Considering we're using Iron Treads. Iron Treads, probably one of the most underused Pokemon in Series 2. You don't get to see it too much considering, obviously, other Paradox Pokemon are a little bit better. But I feel, still feel like Iron Treads stats are pretty solid. So we'll see who they end up leading. It is going to be... Grimmy Grim and Handsy Hands. So two fake out users. Could be scary. Could definitely be scary. Uh, but I think we have to drop a hurricane. Intimidate's gonna work well for us. I really like this Intimidate. And do I take speed here? Take the speed. I like sure. I feel like it's like, why not, right? And then we just pop a hurricane. To you? I mean electric move could do me dirty, but I feel like he has to go for fake out turn. So uh, we'll see what he wants to do. He's not going to go for a fake out turn. He's just going to trick me. He's going to take probably my life orb, right? And give me a lagging tail. The trick gets things started. Salamence gets a lagging tail. Yeah. And I get off a of hurricane. So I still outspeed this thing. Which I'm chipping up damage. Give me ducks. No ducks. So he's probably just going for a wild charge. Take on my Pelipper. I mean, I could deal with that considering, you know, 
Pelper got off Tailwind. So it's fine by me. So he'll take some nice recoil damage there. We will die out. And I don't mind that. Again, we got speed. I can bring out Gambi here. Gambi's not looking bad. And I can finish off that. Now, what's called if I'm with it? Where I go in Iron Treads? It's just free EQs. This is just free EQs. And I can save my gambit for later. Because if I can have my gambit later, that could be good. Yeah, I'm going to go into Iron Treads. So Iron Treads going to fly out here. EQs are free. And I think EQ can KO. It's going to be cutting it close. EQ is going to be cutting it close. I could double down on that slot if I want to. But let me see who he can potentially swap it into, right? Who could you swap into? Corviknight. There's Corviknight. It could go in for an Intimidate. Wouldn't be bad, but yeah, I'm just going to throw an EQ here. It seems too free. And then I'm just going to pop a Hurricane right into the Grimstar slot. Hopefully, he's not setting up a Reflect. Reflect could do me dirty, but he ends up Terrasalizing. And a lot of the Iron Hands have been rocking out with uh, Flying. But this one's straight ground. Okay. Straight ground. I'm kind of scared of a Drain Punch. Drain Punch is scaring me a little bit. Maybe I should double down into him. But EQ's going to fly. Tip up a little bit of damage onto that Hariyama. And a little bit onto that Grimstarl. And Spirit Break's gonna come in hot here. So Spirit Break's bad for two reasons. One, super effective. Two, it drops my special attack. That kind of sucks. So Lagging Tail's doing me a little dirty. Game Punch does come through here. And he's gonna get back a nice chunk of HP. But we're able to soak pretty well. Hmm. Hmm. Hurricane flies here. How much damage are we doing this thing? No KO, man. No KO. EQ should be able to KO. I could Terrasalize here. I might do. Do I terrestrialize him? And maybe just swap the Salamence for later usage? I can swap straight into King Gambit, which I think is going to replay. Especially if you're going for the fairy move. If I had to get Strain Punch coming into it again, we terrestrialize into flying, we'd be able to soak it up and then KO uh, later in the match. And if he is spirit breaking me, this is really good. Considering Defiant will pop. And then we, we 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 start we start boosting that way, and we have Tailwind out and about. So, have my Gambit being able to be faster than a few Pokemon could be really could work wonders for us. So we Terrasalize just so we can soak up Drain Punches, and EQ is going to fly. And this was, I know I'm doing damage to my Gambit, but it's all good. I can deal with that. But we KO Grimmsnarl, and Drain Punch flies here, which we soak now. That's not too bad. It's a crit. I, of course. Of course. So we did some damage to our Gambit. I don't mind it. I do not mind it. But the Grimstar ends up dying so we don't get a Defiant boost. Which is no big deal. It's not a big deal. Let's see who they go into. I feel like they have to bring Delibird, right? The Delibird has to be one of the Pokemon. And Arcanine's going to come out here. So he's going to have Defiant boost me. Or going to Defiant boost me. Now I'm here with the fine boost. I do outspeed because Tailwind is still in effect, right? Yes, it is. And, hmm. What do I go into here? I really want to EQ. I'm just going to protect this turn. They outspeed them regardless. So I'm going to protect and I'm just going to go for a Kowtow Cleave. I don't know if Kowtow Klee can KO this thing right here. I'm gonna hope it does. I'm gonna hope it does. So Protect comes out from the Iron Treads. I'm gonna hope to have my Gambit another turn. This battle's so good. And he protects the Arcanine. That's a really good turn for us then. Especially if we can KO this uh, Iron Hands. Go ahead, Kowtow Klee. You're plus one, baby. You're plus one. Let's go. Big time KO from us. I kind of dig where we're sitting, and I'm not afraid to pop an EQ at this point, right? I'm not afraid to pop an EQ. That would just suck a punch before him. Tailwind is gone. Iron Treads outspeeds everything except for Delibird. And this is a Delibird, isn't it? <laughs> and of course, that's Delibird. The Deli Deli comes out here. Um, it's speed tightened. Obviously, I got to go for the EQ. I gotta go for the EQ, and I'm gonna sucker punch this thing. Because I know it's... Actually, it's not Focus Ash. It ends up protecting it. Okay. 
Okay. This EQ EQ's not gonna be able to KO. I'm gonna KO my own Gambit here. I really need to hit that deli, bro. Of course, to protect it. Gambit can eat. Gambit eats. Okay. The Gambit's able to eat. Flare Butt's gonna fly here, and he's going after. You're gonna take out my Gambit regardless. So Gambit dies out here. Oh no. And what is my play? What is my play here? I have lagging tail, which absolutely sucks, man. And I think this match is an L. <laughs> Not a bad first match. I feel like we made a few bad plays, but hey, this is my warm-up game. Did not hop on today. But yeah, Deli Bird's just a problem. Protecting, I mean, protecting Iron Chest would be our best bet, and then maybe just trying to KO with a Draco Meteor. What would do more damage? Draco Meteor's gonna do more damage. I gotta try to KO with a Draco Meteor. We know he doesn't have Focus Ash. This is our only option. It's our only option. We have Lagging Tail, but I don't know if Arcanine has any moves to really KO us at this point, right? Flare Blitz? No, not going to KO us. It's not very effective, and on top of that, we have Rain out and about. Protect comes out from the Iron Chuds. Can your boy clutch it up, or is Deli Bird just taking out my Salamence? Goes for Icy Wind. Can we eat up this Icy Wind? Of course not. I told you, Deli Bird was a problem. That was a smart move to go into there. That was a real smart move. I thought he was just like freeze dry down my uh, iron threads, considering he knows I have lagging tail, and then just get after the battle that way. But that was a great play right there. Icy win ends up KOing us, and we end up losing match number one. I'm just gonna run it, considering Deli Bird's gonna KO us, and we start off 0 1. Second match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a win with Iron Treads. We're going up against its other form, Ancient Tusk, alongside, actually, it's Great Tusk, alongside with Iron Jugulus, uh, Sandy Shocks, and Brute Bonnet. And then they got Pelper, just like us, and Grim Snarl for support. How should I play this one? Who should I go into? I kind of like having like a Steel type Pokemon because I feel like Grim Snarl is going to be the lead. So I am going to end up leading my King Gambit. So, Gambit, you're out here. I could also go Pelper, set the rain. Rain would not be bad. And I could set up Talon with that. Or I could just go straight Salamence. I think I'd rather go Pelipper, right? Would I rather go Paloops? Yes, I like Paloops here. So I'm going to go Pelipper. I'm going to bring Iron Treads in the back end. And then last but not least, leaning towards Salamence. Got to have some attack power here. I'm all for Salamence. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number two. Considering that first match, we played a little iffy. Made a few bad calls. But... End up losing it, and I want to grab you guys a win. But Iron Treads did pretty good. It definitely did pretty good. He hasn't died yet. Iron Treads has not died yet. He survived the last battle because we ran and kept it alive. But we're going to try to keep it alive here by winning the battle. Let's see what our opponent ends up doing. It's going to be Iron Juggles and Great Tusk going to get a lead. And there's that weird camera angle that the game still hasn't fixed yet. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Make a petition. Someone make a petition. Fix Scarlet Violet. But Iron Juggles is going to quirk drive up. And speed's going to get heightened. So I could end up terrestrializing you in the straight grass, which I kind of dig. It's not bad playing. Just trying to get rid of Iron Jugulus. Because I can obviously rip in the Great Tusk right here right now if I want to. And grass, we definitely want to tear it into. So I'm going to tear it into grass here. And at first, I'm going to just see what he wants to do. I'm going to Tailwind. He might even protect the Great Tusk with Pelper out on the field. But Terrasalizing the Grass seems to be our best bet. Especially if he's popping EQs. It's 100% our best bet. Because that might be the reason why he led it with Iron Jugulus. Because he could just pop freely EQs. Considering Iron Jugulus is a flying type. So Tailwind out and about. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to match your energy next turn. And Great Tusk. Don't let him fool you. He's really, really fast. He's going to combat here. So combat comes out here. And that's just going to lower your defense. So I can dump on that thing next turn with the Hurricane. The reason I would want to go for a Hurricane is because it's 100% accuracy. It's still super effective and it's still going to do big time damage. Iron Head's going to fly here. Oh yeah, we like that damage. Half damage on that thing. And I might just swap you. If you're going to go for a flying move into me, I could swap it to like a Salamence here and get the attack drop. Or do I just want to leave the Gambit? Because who? what other Pokemon do you have? I don't know if you brought him strong. Yeah, screw it. We're just gonna go for this. Hurricane and Iron Head. Might even swap the Tusk here. Yeah, he does swap the Tusk. We're popping a Hurricane into it, so let's see what Pokemon he is gonna go into here. It's gonna be Sandy Shocks. Okay. 
gonna be the shocks the shocks coming out here um he's gonna go for the hurricane so it is rocking with hurricane which i don't mind too much i don't mind because i can bring out my iron treads here i can bring out treads and i could hard swap my uh, what's called if i want to i could hard swap my power because we know one thunderbolt is just gonna chaos can we get ducks though can we get ducks by chance no ducks no ducks so it's either sally we know sandy shock's probably faster right actually i mean quirk drive quirk drive threads could be faster i'm thinking that i'm thinking the quirk drive so we bring out the treads and i don't know if i'm gonna hard swap my salamence so that's a real problem i'm not sure if i'm gonna hard swap the salamence I wish I had protect. I wish I had protect, but I don't. I seriously wish I had protect. I wish I had protect. Uh, where after you? Hmm. Hmm. I got double down into this thing. Actually, no. Iron Tread's gonna survive all day, so I'm gonna try to get rid of the the jugulus. He's gonna withdraw Sandy Shocks. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So withdraw Sandy Shocks. He's gonna go into. You're gonna go into Pelper of your own. So he keeps going to do nothing on the board. Hopefully we can just get rid of the Jugulus. He's going to go for Dark Pulse, which should chunk up nice damage, which it does. I get flinched, but that's fine. I wasn't going to... I wasn't going to do anything anyway. So we get rid of the Jugs. Pelper's out and about. My Tread should outspeed Pelper all day. And I'm still worried about the Sandy Shocks. Considering they still have Terra, too. I think Sandy Shocks might come back out. Now it's going to be Tusk. The Tusk comes flying out here. We still have Pelper full HP, which is really good. I might just protect you this turn. I'm just going to protect you this turn. I'm just going to protect Iron Treads. And do I Hurricane? I got a Hurricane. I'm not risking the uh, the Hydro Pump missing here. So we got both both of the Don fans out. Looking sick. Even though Great Tusk look, looks a tad bit cooler. I don't know why they made Iron Treads that smaller, right? Like, look how much smaller that thing is. Great Tusk can just stomp on it. But still, we're going to go for the Protect here. And we'll see what our opponent wants to do. He's going to go for an EQ here. Well, I'm fine with that. We block that. It doesn't affect the birds. And the birds are just having a battle here. So the birds coming out here. Is my Pelipper faster? That'd be pretty sick. Nope, of course, his Pelipper's faster. And watch, he's going to get Ducks here, and I'm going to cry. No Ducks. Awesome. Dope. Sick. Hurricane comes out for me. And we get out half damage. So my team's Tailwind Peter's out. Their team's Tailwind's gone as well. Do I go for a Tailwind here? I feel like I have to. I could hard swap into Salamence here. Just for Intimidate. And I think I'm going to do that. And then go for Tailwind. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm definitely with that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because EQ, it's got to be flying here, right? It's got to be EQ. It has got to be EQ. It has got to be EQ. But dude, Pelper v Pelper? Great matchup. Great, lovely little matchup here. So I swap, and we get off an Intimidate onto the Great Tusk, which is solid. Physical attacker here. But we're hoping for he's going for EQ regardless. Intimidate flies out here. And they still have Sandy Shocks, which seems to be a problem. But they end up using their Terra here. The Terra is coming out here. What Terra are you? Oh, you're going to Terra the, the Donphan into straight Steel. Straight Steel Terra here. Straight Steel Terra. Close Combat's going to fly here. So we're able to circle really, really well. The defense drops. I can take that out with a pump or whatever later in the match. And we're going to go Tailwind v Tailwind. The double down on Tailwind comes out here. I don't know if I should drop a Draco Meteor. I'm not sure if I should take a drop of Draco Meteor. I think we just send Hurricanes, right? I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump to KO this thing. It sucks that his Pelipper is a tad bit faster than me. It does suck. They also still have Sandy Shocks. Sandy, Sandy Shocks. So we end up outspeeding his Pelper. How much damage are we doing here? Good, good chunk of damage. 
good chunk of damage with that life orb. Of course, it has a berry. Can another hurricane KO? It can. It should be able to. It should be a big time play. Iron Head is going to come out here. And you should be able to eat up by Iron Head, right? Yep. You're soaking that up all day. Helper's probably KO my Pelipper, which sucks, man. Mmm, the dang Pelipper, man. That dang Pelipper. And now I can straight up Hurricane. I, oh, I'm not sure if my if my Iron Treads is faster, but we kind of need to. We kind of need Iron Treads to outspeed. Because obviously we want to go for a Hurricane for the KO here. And then just EQ and finish off the, the Ancient Tusk and then make it a 2v1. Okay, let's see. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. So obviously Salamence is the fastest on the field. Smart play from him would just be let the Pelper die and go for an e or a wide guard. Might be its best play. But again, we need Iron Chest to outspeed Ancient Tusk. That's 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 our way of winning this battle. I know they still have Sandy Shocks in the back end, but this should KO, correct? With the orb. Yeah, we get rid of you. Life Orb's gonna take some damage. Can you outspeed Iron Treads? You're futuristic. You should have more speed. You're futuristic. You are faster. I love you. I love you. Iron Treads comes out here. Should pick up the KO. No problem, right? KO? KO? Let's go. Okay, so now it's a 2v1. Now it's 2v1. It is now a 2v1. Speed doesn't matter considering we went Tailwind for Tailwind. But I don't think Sandy Shocks has... Has any double hitting moves? EQ can finish that, and I think Draco Meteor can finish it. Or do we go for Hurricane? No, we gotta go. For it. So Draco Meteor coming out here, EQ. It's a must, must plays. Sandy Shock probably outspeeds us both. It's a rather fast Pokemon. I'm hoping it just straight up doesn't. That's Earth Power, so Earth Power is gonna KO us. I just need land a Draco Meteor. Salamence, don't let me down, big boy. Throw the meteors around. Throw the meteors around. Let's go, Salamence. That's, that's game. That's game set match. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. What a clutch up from your boy. Iron Treads and Salamence coming in the back end. Clutching up, and we end up taking match number two. What a second battle. What a second battle. Final match coming at you guys. Played very solid in that second battle, but let's grab ourselves a winning record. Let's go 2-1 for today's video. Going up against a Warring Moon and Flutter main team with a deadly combo of Armorosion and DD. And then last Pokemon, they got Dragonite, which Dragonite... Still very scary with that uh, extreme speed, terror normal kind of combo. And then last but not least, Amoongus for a little bit of support action on their side. But how am I playing this one? Who am I going into? I feel like Paloops is just him. Paloops is him. So I'm going to go Paloops again. Uh, I really want to go into a Pokemon like Gambit in case the Armourage combo comes out here. But I don't mind going Palafin. Just so I can have Palafin for the back end. Jet Punches can do some work. I'm with it. I'm with it. We'll bring Gambit in the back end. And then last but not least... We gotta go in with the treads, right? We gotta bring treads. Actually, is treads really that good here? Ground. I I mean, iron head's not bad. Steel and ground. I mean, we do have flying terror, which I really like up against a few. So actually, yeah, iron treads isn't too bad here. It's not too bad. Super effective onto the flutter main. Super effective onto Moongus with its terror form. Super effective on the arm rouge. I can get down with iron threads. Oh, but yo, look at that trainer card. It was just whooper like. Laying back in the mud like that. <laughs> just looking up at the stars. I love Paldean Wooper. He's just an absolute dog. He's just a dog, dude. But he's going to end up going Armor Rouge and Indeedy. Army Arm and Indeed, dubitably. Uh, okay. I got a flip turn here, right? Palafin outspeeds Armor Rouge, right? Is that a correct statement? It seems like a correct statement. So I'd rather flip turn than do anything else yeah 152 you're out speeding arm rouge all day long i could go for tailwind uh i could go for a wide guard but you gotta be going for expanding force you gotta be going for expanding force so i'm just gonna do that i'm just gonna flip turn out of here and say aoc later and i probably should i probably should have uh flip turned into indeedy but oh not i meant arm rouge but follow me comes out anyway so that's totally fine Okay, and we should outspeed, which we do. Send it that way. Nice damage. Nice damage, little dolphin. My dog. And expanded force. I'm going to say expanded force because I would love to go into a Pokemon like you. I mean, I could go into Iron Treads, actually. I could go into Iron Treads, but I would rather go into Gambit at this point. 
Show me you're going for expanded pools. Like, you have to, right? That's a correct statement, correct? Never mind. You could be doing that. And that kind of that kind of hurts me a little bit, but sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> sometimes it'd be like that. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for the pump. And ch -ch -ch -ch. I think I just cow tackle this slap. You go for follow me, you go for follow me. I don't think you have the moxie to go for expanded force here. That follow me is fine. Considering Gambit will go before my Pelipper, and I KO the Indeedy. And then my Hydro Pump slides over. It's not bad. That's not bad. And I don't think you can. The only way you can do enough damage is if he goes for expanded force. But again, I don't think you have the moxie to do it. Yep, armor cannon. I knew you didn't have the moxie to do it after I Y-Guard. That's fine. So we have armor cannons, we have a soul vest, it's raining out. Can you please land this hydro pump? I have a lot of faith in my Pelipper, so. So I'm, I'm cool with him. I got a lot of faith in this boy. See? Me and Pelipper, we're like this. We are like this. Our minds are connected. Pelipper's my dog. Pelipper is actually like making its way up my top favorite, like one of my favorite Pokemon. It's it, it's definitely in the top 10. I don't know if it hits hit the top five yet. But I love this bird. I am in love with this bird. Pelipper. My diggy dog. <laughs> my diggy dog. But uh, Amoogus comes out here. I mean, that's just free hurricanes at this point. And I can... could I do here? I mean, you have Roaring Moon out here in a trick room. I don't think that's a good play. So, I mean, I'm just going to go for a low kick here. If I can hit the single with a low kick, that'd be, that'd be cool. Roaring Moon protects. That's fine, because we have Pelipper just dropping a hurricane into the slot. Gonna go for oh no! <laughs> Wait a minute. Hurting right now. I'm hurting right now. Am I gonna get sported 50 times, lose this match? It kind of seems like that, right? It seems like we're gonna get screwed over here to a little mushroom that looks like a pokeball. It seems that way. It, it kind of seems like that. I think Roar Moon Terrace here, right? I haven't feel Roar Moon Terrace here, so I'm gonna go for Cat Cleave. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does Terror. Good call from us. Good call from us. So it ends up Terrasalizing. And what typing is, is the real question? Flying. That's fine. Cat Cleave's neutral on that. The problem here is are you gonna spore me again? This monitor. I'm gonna take it and I'm just start shaking it. <laughs> and my face cam's up there, so you're gonna see it move. You'll probably see it move if I do this. Yeah, see? I can just grip it up and do this. <laughs> if I just tap it a little bit, it jiggles. See how just look at my face cam, it's just jiggling right now. Yeah, if you just see it like such just start shaking like an earthquake's happening, it's cause I hate this game and spores just doing me dirty. Can you wake up, Helper? Actually no one's waking up. We're we're both asleep. I mean I'll go for sucker punch just to get off as much damage as I can. And would you look at that, dude? I'm just gonna get spored. We're gonna lose the game. Cause you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get spored constantly. And then Trickroom's gonna end, and then this Warren Moon's gonna be able to outspeed me and just sweep the battle. I don't know what to do here. I simply don't. We do have Palfin, which I really like Palfin. But the problem here is Amoongus can just rage powder me. Or he can just put me to sleep. But yeah, Trick Room's gone now. I got it now. I got to deal with this. I'm gonna swap in Palafin. Obviously, Warren Moon's fast on the field. He can one shot pretty much any of my Pokemon. I'm gonna go for the Jet Punch. If I can hit it, I can hit it. That'd be good. I'll go for the Caltech Cleave. I'm just gonna double down to Warren Moon. I don't even have the energy anymore to like. Get annoyed at this because it happens so much to me. But I'm gonna like my palafin's going to sleep. King Gambit wakes up, but I'm being protected. But like, seriously, how like I don't get how like the Pokemon creators are just like, are just like let's put this move in the game and just have it be OP, and like they don't do anything about it. They don't do anything about it. This match, um, we're going to lose this match. I, I, I already know it. Can I terrasize anything good? No, Grass is going to screw us over. We want to go for a Jet Punch here. That was a great Protect Ball on his end. I'll give it to him. But still, man, the Spore is just ridiculous. I've been Spored three times already. My Pokemon don't wake up quick. I have no good RNG here. <clears throat> and Acrobat's going to come in here and pick up a KO. 
Wait a minute. Game give me free focus ash. And I get off Kowtow Cleat, which is not bad. It's not bad. And he's palm puffing me to KO. <laughs> I would have cried if he would have spored me again on one HP. But now I get to bring out Treads. I mean, Treads isn't too bad. I have Terra with him, and I can Terra in a flying. But I think Staying Steel would be better, right? I mean, what other moves do you have? Staying Steel might be better in this instance. But the reason I would want to Terra in a flying would be because I can just Terra Blast and take out a Moogus. Which I feel like has to be my play. I like I have to tear here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the jet punch into this thing. I'm gonna go for the terror blast just so I get rid of Amoongus. Just so I can get rid of Amoongus, but... Hmm. This game, man. Three times sleep. I, I saw it coming. Once he spored me the first time, I was like, oh. And then he spored me again. I was like, oh, here we go. Like, I, I knew it was panning out. It was panning out to be an absolute disaster. But I'm gonna tear I'm still fighting here. I'm looking for the win. I'm looking for the win for you guys. And we get our iron treads out and about. Come on, iron treads. Amoongus is slowly becoming one of my most hated Pokemon as well. Palfin, of course, has to sleep 19 turns. It's all good. Iron treads outspeeds, which is really good for us. And this should KO Amoongus. Yes. We have we outspeed this one. Iron treads. I like you. And what are you going for here? He's going for Acrobash, probably into my Palfin, right? Yeah. And, and Palfin eats, which is really good. Rain's gone. Rain is gone. And let me see your speed, Palfin. You're like 150-something, right? Yeah, your tax dash is ridiculous. This is a hands-down free jet punch play if we wake up. And then we'll do the most damage here. Iron Head would do the most damage. And we get a flinch chance considering we are faster. Palfin wakes up. And things are looking a lot better for us because this Iron Head should just KO. Dodge the board there. I would have cried. I would have cried. Amoongus. I hate that Pokemon now. Spores me way too much. And it's just annoying. But we come out on top. Grab ourselves a 2 and 1 winning record. You guys gotta love it. Great set of matches for today's video. Ended up going 1 and 2 and losing our first battle. But making a comeback. Grabbing ourselves a win in battle number 2. And a win in battle number 3. Iron Treads actually showcased really well today. I actually really like this Pokemon. Obviously it's not the best out of all the Paradox Pokemon. But it seems to hold its own and get some work done. It clutched up in battle number two, and in battle number three, we had the Salamence, we had the King Gambit, Palafin, Amoongus, and Pelipper. All worked well on this team, and this team gelled perfectly. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.